On five day one of early in person voting is wrapped up for our Northern Kentucky community. That's right. Primary election day is less than a week away now. WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons found out Campbell County elections are expecting a lower than normal turnout despite a hot governor's race. Every single person is responsible for our democracy. Every single person. Janice Winkler takes voting seriously. She's cast a ballot in every election since she first could. I've always voted no matter where I live. And she just did again, this time voting early for the 2023 Kentucky primary. I'm just a average Joe, but my vote counts. An important use of her civic right, she says, even in an election she knows not many others think twice on. We're anticipating a relatively low turnout. Primaries tend to pull lower numbers than general elections. Plus, Kentucky is a closed primary state, so voters can only cast ballots for candidates in their registered party. But Campbell County Clerk Jim Lurson says there is another reason they're expecting even fewer voters than usual. Historically, we average around 10-11% turn out for a primary. Uh, this year there's nothing for an independent or a third party to vote for, so only Democrats or Republicans can vote. But Lurson says voters shouldn't cast this election aside. Sure, Secretary of State, Commissioner of Agriculture, nothing local or federal on this ballot, but there is a highly contested governor race with more than a dozen candidates on both sides vying for incumbent Andy Bashir's seat. This particular election, for instance, on the Republican side, there's 12 people running for governor. So if you have 12 candidates split amongst a low turnout, uh, any every vote matters. Early voting also got a little easier this election. Last year, the Kentucky General Assembly established in-person, no excuse absentee on the Thursday, Friday and Saturday before Election Day. So any eligible voter can now head down to cast their ballots. I have never missed, even though this is just a <laughs> I just voted for a couple things, but still, every vote, every election starts at the bottom. Everything starts at the bottom and works its way up. In Campbell County, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.